Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And I'm here in the Lula May. So this is a manufactured home by Buccaneer and it is actually the house that I'm going to be purchasing. So I thought we would do a whole series on what's a manufactured house, how is it different, why I'm making this decision, and exactly what the house looks like. So this particular house is actually on a lot in Troy, Alabama. It is not hooked up to air. This is the model. So if you come to the lot to look at the houses, there's houses on either side in the back. This is where you walk through the houses. This is where you see the options, where you pick exactly what you want, where your journey begins. I'm pretty excited. So I'm just gonna walk you guys through the model here. This is the kitchen and we will see everything. So this house, I will put down below exactly the square footage, but it's about 1,800 square feet. It's three bedrooms, two bath, has a beautiful kitchen with an open floor place, dining room where y'all are sitting, and the living room. It has a butler's pantry, an adorable little laundry room, comes with your appliances. The master is amazing. And there are so many ways you can customize this house. So if you follow along on my blog or my YouTube, you guys know that I love home decor. I mean, that's what I do. It's who I am. It's just, it's my thing. And so when I saw this house, I knew I had to have it, but there were certain things I wanted to change and I'm able to do that with a manufactured house. So if you want to see all the changes that I'm going to make or all the changes that are even just available, stay tuned because I'm going to be doing that video next week. Let's take a look around. So when you come in the front door, you are in the living room. It is a huge living room. The video just really doesn't do it justice. It has a little decorative entertainment system with sconces on either side. Here's your hallway. You can see it holds a sectional and a chair. Look at the ceiling. It has a little chandelier. It has beams and that shiplap wall. You guys, I wish my camera had a wider screen for this because it is amazing. You can see the three windows here. Okay, so let's come around to the open concept dining nook. So here's your dining nook. You can see it has a lot of light, which is great. And it fits a full six person table, which is amazing. It also has a few little recessed lights and is completely open to the kitchen. There's the money shot there, y'all. So let's look at the kitchen. Here is your ceiling. The tray, the beams, those lights. I love these lights. Let's get a close up. There's actually lights on right now. There hasn't been any other time. So the island is ridiculously big. And it actually has storage all the way around. Now I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on this house and one of the ones I've watched says that this island has a lot of pits and holes and is not smooth. That hasn't been my experience but you definitely want to feel it for yourself. So there is a second door here and if you come out onto the little porch, let's see all the cars going by out there, you can actually see the little grill spot there. So your cabinets are white, you've got those pretty counters, you've got your shelves on either side of the windows, and of course you've got your lights over the sink. These are little mason jar lights. Your actual sink is stainless steel with the pull down. You've got your range that's stainless steel as well your pretty stove let's get a shot from the other side so here is your refrigerator and all of those cabinets and you can see how it really looks straight into the living room 
So then we'll come right back here. We've got your electric panel and that butler's pantry I was telling you about. So it's got the two open shelves, a little counter, and the full cabinets on the bottom. And here is your laundry room. So you've got your little shelf across the top. Air conditioner will be outside. This little nook is where your washer and dryer go. Furnace, and then it does have a space Floor to ceiling if you want to add a freezer. You do have a back door here. It is the same as the front door with the black panels and the windows. And then we'll come back around to the living room. I'm trying really hard to keep the camera steady since I can't use a tripod. All right, here's your entertainment bar, close up. It does have your plugs for your TV and those pretty sconces, the same ones that are outside. Follow the beams all the way down. You've got your thermostat on the wall here. It is an B 3 and that comes standard. And an adorable little built-in desk So you can easily have a little workspace. So now we're going to come to our bedrooms. The first of three it has the pretty craftsman doors. Those are standard. And here's the first bedroom. You've got your closet, window, and it is actually a pretty good size. I will put the size down at the bottom so you guys can see it. Then we've got our guest bath next door. It has great storage, great tub, vanity. The mirrors aren't up in the model, but it does come with beautiful mirrors. And all of your and all of your fixtures are this oil rubbed bronze, which is my favorite. And that brings you to the bigger second bedroom has the little cutout for your hall desk and its closet is right behind this door so now we're in the master here we go so this room is huge you guys huge you've got two windows the little teeny tiny windows. We've got a full walk-in closet. With shelves. And here is the best part. Ready? You're not ready. The master bathroom. It is beautiful. I love these barn doors. They're great for a bathroom because they don't take up a lot of room and they're just beautiful. Here's all your sinks. Again, with that oil rubbed bronze and the mirrors that are not up. Shiplap wall, tub of your dreams. Maybe just the tub of my dreams. Again, with the oil rubbed bronze. Here's your shower. and the pate and there we go that's the whole thing all right y'all that's the end of the tour so as you can see it's a beautiful house now i will go over all the specifics in the next video exactly what you can change what i'm changing and then if y'all are interested let me know down below i'll do a whole video on what I'm paying, how I got to that price, how much that some of the changes cost, how to find the best place near you to purchase a home like this, and all of those specifics. I'd love to do a question and answer kind of video for that, and even include Ashley, the great gal that I'm buying the home from. So please leave all your questions down below. 
and I will make sure that we answer them. Bye, y'all.